The vice president today isn't committing to presidential debates between Trump and Biden. She's saying, quote, we'll get to that at some point. So here's more of Vice President Kamala Harris's interview with ABC News Chief White House Correspondent Mary Bruce. Madam Vice President, thank you so much for doing this. The president last night certainly was fired up. He seems ready for a fight here. Donald Trump is already challenging the president to debate anytime, anywhere, any place. So will the president commit to debating Donald Trump? Well, let's start with last night, Mary, because I think what we saw is in President Biden, somebody who is passionate, who is principled, and who's clear about not only what we have as an administration accomplished, but where we are as a country and what's at stake. I thought he was extraordinary in terms of articulating not only what it means for America to stand with our friends around the globe and follow through on our commitments in the context of long-standing military alliances, what he talked about in terms of a vision going forward that would include not only capping the cost of insulin at $35 a month for our seniors, which we have done, but capping the cost of insulin at $35 a month for everybody, extending the ability of everyone to cap prescription medication cost at $2,000 a year, not only our seniors. What we need to do to raise federal minimum wage, what we've got to do to make child care affordable for all families, what we've got to do to, to have paid family leave for all working people. So I thought that he articulated a vision with passion and with principle. And at this moment in time, when we're looking at the the split screen and, and the fact that Donald Trump is on the other side, I think that's, that's an important point for the American people, which is, are we going to have a president who actually believes in a democracy or someone who applauds dictators and says on day one he'll be a dictator, someone on the other side and the former president who has indicated he would weaponize the Department of Justice against his enemies. But given what you argue is at stake here, will you take the chance to show voters more of what they saw last night to take on Trump directly in debates? We'll get to that at some point and we'll deal with that. But the point is right now on this day after the State of the Union, I think the president laid down the facts for the American people in terms of what's at stake. And I thought he did an extraordinary job. Uh, Republicans argue that you're ignoring the issue of migrants and crime. The president did address this last night, but in an off script moment, he said that an illegal was responsible for killing a student. Were you comfortable with the use of that term? Well, I was there, as you know, and it was a pretty chaotic scene in terms of the cross-talking that was happening in the room. But I think the president really did an important point that he wanted to make, which was to express his empathy with the family of that victim and to let them know that he understood their pain and that there should be accountability. And on the issue of immigration as a whole, listen, he was very clear. It's a broken system. We want to fix it. There is a bipartisan effort that was was about hard work of parties coming together, conservative Republicans, progressive Democrats coming together with a bill. But because Donald Trump said, don't put it on the floor, the, the, the Republican Party has apparently decided that instead of fixing a problem, they want to run on it. And I think that's where we really have to think about what does leadership look like? Leadership is about fixing problems, not taking political benefit and capital from a problem because you have nothing else to run on. You know, we've seen this argument over and over again from Republicans that the candidate they are really running against is you, that given the president's age, there is a chance that you may have to take over for him. What do you say to voters who are sold on the president but may not be sold on you about this potential possibility? Well, first of all, I think what we saw in President Joe Biden is somebody who is prepared to take on a second term and do it with passion and do it with vigor. And as it relates to, you know, the various tactics that, that our opponents are using, they're going to attack a, a myriad of issues. But here's the bottom line. If necessary, which will not be the case, I am ready. But the bottom line is our president is full of vigor and passion and perspective to take on another term. And I'm standing right with him. There was also another hot mic moment caught last night, the president working the room, telling some lawmakers that when it comes to the war in Gaza, he's going to have to have a, a come to Jesus conversation with Netanyahu. What did the president mean by that? Oh, well, he meant what he said. <laughs> um, some of us grew up in, in communities where when a come to Jesus talk is about having a serious talk based on candor. And do you think he's going to be receptive to that conversation? 
I, I've been a part of over a dozen uh, conversations that the president has had with Bibi Netanyahu, and I can tell you without disclosing anything confidential, the president has been very candid, candid and, and dare I say unfiltered in terms of having uh, a serious conversation about his concerns, but also, as he has been clear, um, our readiness to stand with Israel's right to defend itself, but how it does so matters. And far too many Palestinians have been killed. And the bottom line is we all want this conflict to end as soon as possible and how it does matters. We've got to get aid in and, and really we've got to get this hostage deal done. Madam Vice President, thank you very much. Thank you. It's good to be with you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.